Hello and welcome back to my channel. So it is nearly September, like just around the corner, which means a lot of people will be going back to or going for the first time to uni or college or school or any other education setting and there are millions of videos out there about what you need to bring to uni and what you need to pack for your back to school bag, all those sorts of things, what you need to buy and holes and everything. So I'm not trying to copy them at all, I'm going to show you what you actually need because a lot of those videos and lists and blog articles and everything have a load of crap on that you don't actually need. So. From my experience, this is what you actually need. So I've split this into things that people say you need, but you actually don't, and then the things that you actually do need. So things you don't need first. You don't need to go to W. H. Smith's and buy out their whole selection of colouring pens and everything. You don't need fancy biros, you don't need a matching set of really beautiful pens that say that they'll help your handwriting or anything like that. You get so many pens for free, especially at uni, but in most education places. You've just got pens coming out of your ears. I have not bought a pen in my entire uni career because of the amount of free pens that you get. So you really don't need to buy any. However, I am a massive advocate for colour coding and things like that. So if you do want highlighters and things that are going to be like in a matching set then there you can spend a bit of money. You don't need a whole new wardrobe of clothes. I've seen quite a few back to school style haul things and what you should wear to your first day of school, things like that. You don't need it. People do not care what you look like in school, although it may seem like that is the most important thing it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect your ability to learn, it doesn't affect your ability to socialise, they're just clothes. On that note, this is specific for uni, if you are moving out of home and moving into halls, don't bring all of your clothes because you'll be going home in some of the holidays and you can get more clothes then, the more seasonally appropriate ones. So just bring the clothes that you need for the current season, so warm clothes or summer clothes. You don't need textbooks. A lot of courses will have a massive long reading list that they're like, you must read this before you come here. A lot of these books can be found either in your campus library or in a local library. You don't need to spend a load of money on buying new ones. You can also buy second-hand ones off students that have just been the year above you. They're still the latest edition, they're still work fine, they might even have notes in there that might help you out with your own revision. Think Harry Potter, the one where you got that potions book that had all the secret notes in that might happen to you. So get books from the library, but if you really do need to buy them, buy them secondhand. You don't need to bring condoms. Condoms are really expensive, and although sexual health is really important, you really don't need to splurge on them. You get so many free condoms and chlamydia tests and everything for free when you come to uni. So just get a load of free ones, you don't need to buy them. Now onto things that you do need. This is like the essentials. This is not specific to people that are moving out of home and moving into halls. I have made a separate video about what to pack for hauls, although I made that video in 2013, so it's like a major throwback to when I first went to uni. So if you are moving into halls or moving out of home for the first time, have a look at that video, which I will link up here, I can't remember which side it's on, for a full list of everything that I brought with me to uni. For people who might live at home and be travelling into uni or things like that, this is the things that you need. A freshers pass, or whatever the equivalent is at your uni. These are usually the officially run ones by the Students' Union. There will be so many um, clubs and stuff in town that will have the official Freshers' Pass on their uh, Facebook pages and stuff. They're not the official ones, they will rip you off and they will not look after you. I cannot recommend enough buying the official Freshers' Pass or whatever the equivalent is. You'll meet so many like-minded people who are at the same uni as you, so you have so much in common already and everyone's in the same boat, they're all a bit homesick and a bit nervous, so that is where you meet like-minded people. It's also really good value for money usually, students' union bars are well cheap, and they're generally a lot safer, so you can make sure that you get home okay. You do need fancy dress. So many nights out, or daytime events, or anything, throughout the whole year, not just in Freshers' Week, are fancy dress themed. Now you won't know what these themes are yet, but if you do have some fancy dress lying around at home from other 
fancy dress parties then bring them with you. It's so much cheaper to do it this way because fancy dress costumes are actually quite expensive. So if you've got stuff already, bring it with you and then that saves you a load of money. You do need vitamins because freshers flu is real. Even if you're not moving into halls, you'll be interacting with a load of new people from all over the place and loads of new germs. So get yourself some vitamins, get yourself registered with a GP in your new city or make sure you're registered if it's your local city. And GPs also offer the free meningitis jab to 17 and 18 year olds. So if you do fall in that age bracket, get yourself the meningitis jab. Again, loads of people might be carrying bugs. You wanna protect yourself from it because that will really ruin your fun. You do need icebreakers because you're meeting a lot of new people. You'll all be a bit awkward, not really sure what to talk about. You've got the bog standard. What's your name, where's you from, what's your course? But you will forget this information immediately and your newfound friends will not know who you are. So bring games with you, maybe learn a card trick. One game I can really recommend is Cards Against Humanity. If you've never played this before, it is not for the faint-hearted and it's definitely a way to get to know each other very quickly. Can be a drinking or non-drinking game, but I would also recommend not playing it with your parents. I bought this game for my brother when he went to university and he was like, oh fantastic, we can, we can play it with mum and dad at Christmas. And I was like, no, we can't. If you've played that game before, you will know what I mean. And finally, something you do need is a diary or organization system of some kind. This will vary completely person to person, whether you want like a digital diary, like your eye calendar, you want to have a paper diary with all the dates set out, you want to bullet journal perhaps, which is my personal favorite. Get yourself some kind of organization system so you can put in the dates for all your deadlines, the dates for any exams, the dates for any events you want to go to. It's just handy to have everything in one place. So if you are going to uni or college in September or anytime soon, congratulations for getting in. You've done really, really well to get this far and you're gonna do amazingly and have a great time. You've got this. I'm wearing this t-shirt today, but you totally can't see it because it's out of shot. But babe, you got this. If you have any questions about going to uni or about Northumbria, which is the university I went to, about psychology, which is the course I studied, or about anything at all that I've mentioned in this video, please comment below or message me, tweet me, uh, Instagram message me, carry a pigeon, any other form of communication you can think of. And I'll answer your questions because I want to help you have a good time. Please like this video if you've liked it, share it with your friends if they're going to uni and wanna know some useful tips as well. Subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.